Hey, this is Pastor Randy here. This morning, I've got some good news that I wanna share with you. I want you to know that Jesus Christ, he is still in the saving business and he still loves you just as much as you can possibly imagine. The Bible says in Romans chapter three, verse 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's one thing that we all have in common and that is the fact that we all make mistakes. We all are sinners. And the Bible says in Romans chapter six, verse 23, Three, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. What I wanted to talk about quickly is just the fact that one day we all have to pay for the sins that we have committed or all of the wrongs that we have done. You say, how do you pay for those? Well, we pay for those in one of two ways. One is the Bible says that it is appointed unto man once to die, and after that, the judgment. One way that we pay for those sins is at that judgment. All of our sins are weighed, and then the way that we pay for them is by spending eternity in hell. But the good news is that we don't have to do that today. All that we have to do is accept what Jesus Christ has done on the cross. Romans 5, 8 says, but God commendeth his love toward us. That means that he gave us his love. While we were yet sinners, Christ, he died for us. I want you to know that the payment for your sins has already been paid. The penalty has already been paid. All you have to do today is accept that payment. You say, how do I do that? The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I want you to know that in 2020, salvation is still simple. All you have to do is call upon the name of the Lord and you can be saved. Salvation is a personal experience. It's a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. All that you have to do is call upon his name, ask him, Lord, forgive me of my sins, come into my heart and make him your savior and you can be saved today. That is salvation in its simplest form. Share this with your friends, your family and your neighbor because I want you to know that God still loves everyone and he sti it's still his will to save all. God bless you from Inglewood Baptist Church.